The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. If I can try to get uh, everything uh, exited here and reset up. For some reason, I did something wrong here. I don't know what it is. Eh, we'll figure it out. As always... Uh, we uh, like to meet at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, that was a little different. Uh, anyway, we're off uh, or up one point on the S&P cash volume is 2.3 billion shares as we start the show. So, uh, boy, are we using up a lot of energy going uh, nowhere in this market. Um, when we look at uh, some other stuff going on out here, uh, just kind of a quiet day. Uh, and you would think uh, from the uh, drum beats that uh, we would have been uh, far over 2,200 on the S&P cash today uh, and uh, even much, much higher on the NASDAQ. We're going to talk about that. Many other things, too, uh, and see how uh, everything just kind of works out uh, by the end of the day. But uh, very interesting market setting up. A lot of people scratching their heads on some of the earnings. And, uh, boy, uh, if you want to talk about an earnings Super Bowl, uh, that is coming tonight. We'll touch on that and uh, more things. Uh, but before that, we got to get started with our history lesson of the day. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1971, Wells Fargo launches the world's first stock index fund with $6 million from the pension fund of Samsonite Corporation. Oh, I love to use to those, uh, those ads where they, uh, they'd throw it to the giant uh, uh, gorilla and he'd beat on it in the, uh, in the, uh, and throw it around in the uh, uh, zoo. I always loved that. was a great ad. Uh, the trader executing the orders for the new fund immediately acquires the sarcastic name of Discount Diane. Snipes, a, mu uh, a mutual fund manager. Uh, if people start believing in this random walk garbage and switch to index funds, a lot of $80,000 a year portfolio managers and analysts will be replaced by $16,000 a year computer clerks. It just can't happen. On this day in 1971, famous last words of course uh fake book is uh up uh, a whole smacking at two dollars after last night um i kind of felt like i was a, uh, you know at one of the gallagher concerts um if people remember that where he you know, sledge hammers the uh uh giant uh, watermelon and it gets all over the first four rows i kind of felt like that it kind of felt like i was getting it all over me i needed to be wearing a bag um, one thing you can say is uh, whether it's uh, Facebook or it's Apple, uh, there gets to be a point where there is nobody left to buy the other side of your trade. It doesn't matter what. Eventually, there are just a finite amount of people that will ever buy anything. And uh, that's uh, kind of what we've hit out here. I thought uh, early in the week I put out a paper calling for peak 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 social media uh there were a variety of reasons why that uh facebook is up a whopping two dollars or one and a half percent on what uh, most people consider the biggest earnings hit or beat of all time if you were watching the media that couldn't slather or slime or uh get something on uh, on this stock and that's normally when you hear that kind of talk, you heard the same thing for Apple when it was 130 bucks. Uh, calls for 200, calls for 300. Um, the same thing today. Everybody on Wall Street that's smart knows when you hear those kind of calls, it's time to sell. The reason why is you've got to have somebody on the opposite side 
of the fence to take your trade. Uh, and uh, you just, you know, you can throw more money at it, but uh, I think everybody's about as deep as they can ever get into Facebook if you're a big man in the street. Uh, and of course, uh, it's all about distribution now, uh, much like Apple is. Um, can this stock go higher? It could. I suspect, though, when we get to the next earnings call, there will be a much different story. They've got lots of competition in the way of Snapchat. Uh, everybody I talk to when I'm out uh, and they are less than 35 years old, I ask them what they're using. If they're over 35, they're still kind of in the Facebook camp. Everybody below 35. Uh, in fact, uh, there's uh, I've got some visitors down here for the uh, summer, and uh, it just happens her name just happens to be Summer. Uh, she's 18, getting ready to go to college down here. And, of course, uh, there is no Facebook on her phone, only Snapchat. Uh, I think that tells you a great deal. People, or especially kids, uh, are fickle about what's hot and what's cool. Facebook is no longer cool. Now, how did Facebook make all these uh, huge earnings? Well, if you dig into the earnings statement last night, and one of the other reasons why I, th I suspect that many on Wall Street uh, uh, decided that this was probably a pretty good time to get to selling. I'm not saying short, but I am saying it's good time to sell uh, is for the same reason as Apple at its highs. Uh, there is, uh, and I heard it today, and the first thing you want to do is click the sell button when you start here analysts saying it, and I've said it before, but it's the word T-A-M. They'll go TAM, and it's total addressable market. That is probably the best and single best clue on the fundamental side uh, that uh, you are in a dubious proposition. It st uh, stands for total addressable market. And, uh, of course, face, uh, Facebook uh, said uh, we've got 1.7 billion people using, actively using every month our product. And I suspect, one, there is a giant uh, uh, economy with the truth with that statement. Secondly, how did they get to the earnings level that they got? And that is by dumping huge amounts of ads, uh, much more than they had the quarter before. Uh, and uh, many people have said that their experience on Facebook is diminished over the last quarter or for, uh, maybe even a quarter and a half. It, people don't instantly give up. But uh, I've noticed that uh, when... Uh, YouTube decides to put a uh, onerous amount of ads on that I go and do something else. I'm not going to sit through uh, 10 tons of ads. I will look at one or two or use an ad blocker for most. Uh, but uh, when they force a, a bunch on you, you just kind of give up. You know, it's, you know, maybe you'll go through one ad. Are you going to go through two in five minutes? The answer is no. I just click on something else and I'm gone. And that's uh, what I suspect you're going to find uh, in these numbers is that we are probably somewhere around peak social. I wrote a, a kind of a special uh, article about uh, the insides of why I thought Facebook had come pretty close to its highs. Um, not saying short, but uh, my guess is that there is the uh, stage where you advertise. There's the stage where you mark stuff up. There's the say it, say, uh, part where you distribute, and then comes the markdown. We're in the distri distribute part. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software.
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Dave takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Uh, having an interesting conversation. Uh, anyway, um, I'm just uh, saying that we're probably pretty close and look for a lot of distribution for this stock going forward. Anytime you get to this much stuff on you from just standing around from the uh, news uh, reporting on a stock, uh, pretty good indication that everybody and their dog is, that can ever buy it is already there. We talked about this uh, during Apple and, uh, you know, th these people are human. In fact, I was reading a new book. Uh, I left it in the other room. Uh, called uh, Chaos Monkeys that's all about the inside part of Facebook in the transition from where they were making no money uh, to where they were actually making money. The gentleman that was responsible uh, for uh, putting together the engine and the machine learning to actually do it wrote this book. Uh, and uh, you know what? Uh, kind of interesting uh, inside version of Facebook. Uh, but he was a, a high-frequency trader programmer. Uh, then he uh, moved to a startup that went uh, uh, kind of bust but ended up being bought by Facebook and then ended up uh, being in the whole thing uh, to actually drive uh, ads and, earn, uh, and earnings uh, from Facebook. And uh, like a lot of people, get uh, pushed out in the purge. But very interesting inside uh, look at Facebook. I learned a lot by... Uh, reading that book. Anyway, it's called Chaos Monkeys. I'm going to be writing about it in the Tech Insider on tomorrow. Uh, but uh, interesting nonetheless. So uh, we're looking at the market out here. It's up one whole point. Um, I can't stand these kind of rallies. I just, uh, man, they're tough. Yesterday, of course, we uh, burned through about six or 700 million shares in the last 10 or 15 minutes only to lose three or four points. Um, as I said, I suspect that we are in distribution. The question is just how long before this market cracks. Uh, fund buying does not look like it has a great deal in here. My guess is that they will use it for distribution too. That is, that there will be somebody on the opposite side of every buy out there that is selling 2.4 billion shares. 
Anyway, Alcoa, the rest of the story. Uh, da, 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 what do we have here? Uh, eh, maybe I'll have it. Uh, Alcoa is announced that it plans to undertake a reverse stock split. We've talked about this many times before. Uh, I always get new listeners, so I do want to know or talk about the organic reasons for the way stocks move in the market that have nothing to do with how it performs, uh, but a lot to do with just the single price of its stock. Many uh, uh, funds uh, have a uh, risk balance out there, uh, a, a risk profile, and for the most part, uh, not only do they have to be, do these funds have to be fully invested by the end of the month, uh, that they will not own a stock under a certain dollar amount. It used to be about five bucks 10 years ago. It's moved up to 10 bucks now. The reason why is the implied volatility of a $5 stock. $5 stock can go to 250, can go to 10 bucks. And since that is put into their model, and ever since Dodd Frank came out, it becomes problematic. They moved that up to 10 bucks. So what's going on with the Alcoa? They can't stand or they can't stay significantly above that ten dollar uh, mark for a while, uh, or long enough to have some of the big funds buy them. So they're doing a three or a three for one or one for three stock reverse stock split uh, to handle it by getting their uh, stock up to thirty bucks. It will be much more palatable. Uh, to those out there on the street that need or would like to buy Alcoa, uh, but can't. Of course, it's also going to do a little bit to, to squeeze shares out of the short position in this. But, uh, you know, the other side of the coin is that 90% uh, that, uh, of reverse splits uh, go well below the price that they had pre-split. That is the downside. I don't know if this is the outlier, the one out of 10 that does not, but I would be very suspicious after this thing gets bought up by uh, many in the, uh, on the street and put into funds, uh, what happens to this stock if earnings don't do well. Um, maybe they just issue more shares after they get it up for a while. Uh, that is also not uncommon to see. Uh, but uh, be very careful with Alcoa going forward. Statistically, it is a horrible bet. It uh, could be the one out of 10 that isn't. But uh, my guess is that you will see this thing go sideways, probably up a little bit as it's bought by uh, shares or by uh, funds on the street. And then you have to worry about uh, them dumping more shares into the market uh, after a period of time. So yeah, just a word of warning. Uh, after the bell tonight, we've got Align Technology, Amazon, Baidu, Camden Property Trust, CBS, Kohu, Deckers, Digital Realty Trust, Expedia, KLA, Tencord, Outer Wall, although it's being uh, bought under, uh, Verisign, Western Digital, Win Resorts. That's just a tiny, tiny fraction of what we have coming out after the bell. Uh, if you're watching Tiger TV or The Den, uh, maybe you see one of the shares of stock the symbol on the screen now. This is just what's coming out after the bell, and all these are big stocks. It's not like uh, these are a bunch of uh, dogs that have never seen the light of day. Um, all these things are big. Some of them are in the gold sector. Some of them are in others. Uh, but, uh, man, there are a ton of them uh, out here. I suspect most of them will do okay. But it's no different than Apple. Apple was up. But, man, did they move the bar down so low that uh, uh, even a man with no legs could stand over it. Uh, same thing with uh, Facebook. They blew away huge earnings. But if you would have looked at the forecasts from the street two months ago, eh, maybe it wasn't as big a beat as you thought. Um, this comes into the fact that, of course, we also have a ton of these stocks with PEs in the 25s. Normally, you want to sell and a P.E. of about 18 and buy it at a P.E. of about 12. If you use any fundamental things, stocks uh, and markets can go much higher than you would ever think. I just don't think so. Uh, we'll talk about those reasons after the break. But uh, mostly they have to do uh, with uh, 
how many people are short this market. Uh, GDP has been moved down yet again by about a half a percent by most of the people on the street. Uh, Jeffrey Gun Gunlatch Gunlatch Gun uh, and came out. He's, 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 I don't know if he's really that good or not. Uh, kind of interesting comment from him, though, is that if it's better than 3.5% uh, or better in the morning, we get a September hike. Um, is that just wishful thinking? Does, uh, does this 3.5% even come close? Or am I thinking 2, 1.5% is more likely? Yeah, you know, I'm already in the camp that we're already in a recession. Uh, just not a recession in eh, what three tenths of the market the other seven tenths we are saw numbers come out of the midwest for uh, the fed uh pretty poor um philly fed pretty poor uh, new york uh pretty poor anything in manufacturing is pretty poor we'll look at uh face uh ford when we come back too uh, we'll talk about a few other things also The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Um, anyway, I don't, I don't have a, well, maybe I have a way. Um, like I said, uh, we were going to talk about why I don't think this market's going high, any, uh, higher. If it is go, if I'm wrong, it's going to be pretty minimally higher. And that is, uh, people have, uh, quit shorting. Uh, I think you can see that there is a lot of volume in this market. It's going nowhere. 
Uh, we have stocks like Facebook that uh, theoretically are turning lead into gold. Uh, they're up a buck. Um, when you get that kind of disconnect, there's something else going on out here. Um, when they can beat the drum as hard as that, you should start looking at that as some kind of warning. Uh, Apple, not much different. Uh, they moved the bar down to where uh, I would be uh, tripping over it if I even picked my foot up a tiny bit. Um, and uh, it just, it's very tough for me to see it. But, uh, of course, I've been doing a lot of work in the last year on getting short data. And every day for the last uh, seven, eight trading days, the amount of people shorting has gone down. It has not gone up. Uh, this market was built on a lot of people that were sure the market was going to hell in a handbasket. They shorted all the way up. They have quit. That is why you do not see much in the way of pops in this market. A lot of them are sold fairly quickly. Um, this market has been built on the backs of shorts being wrong. They have decided to quit being wrong. Uh, maybe the market goes higher, but it's not going to be on the backs of those that are shorting this market. It's going to have to be people putting new money to work. And guess what? We had a wave, a tsunami of money come in after the British exit. Uh, that money has now turned to a trickle. And the question is, who's on the opposite side of your trade? Right now, the longs are betting on one thing, and that is a bunch of money coming in from fund buying season. Trim Tabs says that that also is a trickle. I'll get better numbers tomorrow morning on it. Uh, I don't suspect that anybody is going to be buying uh, further funds going into Friday. They, uh, if they can, we'll put that off until Monday before the first money comes up. Uh, but could we go sideways again for maybe two or three days into fund buying? I think the answer is yes. I just don't see a lot of a push on the opposite side. I see a lot of volume in the market going nowhere. That tells me one thing distribution. Uh, let's go through as many stocks as we can get through before the end of the day. You can always uh, email me at 877-927-6648. You'd have to call me. To email me, it would be path at tfnn.com. Uh, that phone number, and of course, you can put a message in the den. Somebody did ask, where do I think that uh, crude is going? West Texas, for me, has been a target of $38 uh, when we talked about it last uh, yes, you can call it path at tfnn.com. Uh, anyway, uh, what else is going on here? Uh, Alkermes, A-L-K-S, the symbol on this guy, uh, did exactly what it was supposed to do, and that is it fell apart on the 21st of January with uh, 12 and a half million shares, kind of came down, made a bottom, came back up here, tried to fill a little bit of this gap. It's back down. It will have stronger volume by the end of the day. But uh, that's pretty much how they work and how they look uh, up here. Some of these are going to look fairly sweet. Uh, Lexion Pharmaceuticals uh, opened uh, higher uh, today and has pulled back a little bit. Not much of a bounce and not much of a uh, uh, volume spurt out here on its earnings. Um, could this still get up to 140? It could. That's where I'd look at shorting at that one if volume remains light. Uh, Arid Pharmaceuticals did have a nice bounce with some decent volume. It's getting up into this huge uh, thrust from August 28th in 2015, uh, where people uh, would have had to go through a stock and a retracement of 50% or more back to the recent lows. Uh, volume's okay, but you're going to 38 million shares on that one. Bristol Myers Squibb. I always wondered who the squib was. Down a little bit. I can't say that this thing's busted the uptrend yet, but it is uh, interesting. Uh, volumes about what it was yesterday. A uh, little pop in Boston Scientific. A little bit of this is uh, it's on some decent volume. I don't know if you're going to hold the high out here. Again, not a uh, rousing endorse endorsement on that one. Another one that's gapped down a little bit is a Borg Warner. Uh, we'll get into Ford here in a minute, uh, but some of these are looking pretty horrible. Borg Warner, of course, a transmission manufacturer, makes some other stuff, all industrial, uh, all uh, making stuff for other folks. Uh, but uh, eh, what can you say? Down volume's not all that exciting. Uh, let's just go to face or to go to Ford right now. 
Um, you know, it rarely gets this bad uh, in a car company. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you want to sell signal in the car business, I think you got one. Uh, the home business wanted to see how this one did on its earnings up a little bit. Volume is good. Uh, you're going into this down candle of the 28th of April that had 2.8 million shares. You got 1.6 million shares now. Um, Cabela's. Now this one, uh, I guess it's the end of summer and camping's over. Uh, this thing did make a, a top with about the same volume, so you didn't have a very clear signal. May 2nd, uh, 1.7 million shares. June uh, or July 14th, 1.7 million shares. Uh, but uh, today, about 1 million shares as this thing comes off the top. Energy off the bottom was not all that bad, uh, but uh, in, uh, in kind of tough to see. Uh, Cheesecake Factory, the favorite place to eat of fans of the uh, Big Bang Theory. Uh, up, lots of volume, uh, could not hold uh, the previous high of $53.20, but you've got a ton of volume. You would like to see a uh, close higher than the open. Uh, Celgene uh, kind of coming up a little bit today. Volume is uh, fairly decent at 5.6 million shares so far. Did get within 20 cents of the April 25th high. Is one of the stronger ones out here. Uh, Citigroup um, eh, it was uh, kind of lower a little bit earlier. I can't say that there's a lot to actually see there. Colgate from Palmolive uh, opened higher, has moved lower throughout the day. Uh, volume is not all that exciting yet, but a few people are starting to get out of these safety stocks. Uh, when we look at Cliff's Natural, a couple of uh, uh, candles out here that you might want to consider as dark cloud cover. Uh, probably um, the next day or two is going to be critical and uh, most of these uh, stocks uh, that are, are in that sector. Let's look at F F X FCX real quick, though, see how it's doing. Yeah, kind of the same thing. Uh, no real clear signal right here. It spiked the gap on lighter volume yesterday, very light volume today as it's uh, eh, kind of going sideways to yesterday's high. Let's go back to uh, COP. Conoco Phillips, uh, a lot of these are starting to move down. You do have higher volume than both the May, uh, the May 9th and the April uh, 5th uh, lows already uh, into this low of 10 million shares. Uh, you got 8.8 .8 already, but you've already had 10 million shares. So you've already gotten into that April 5th low with more volume. As I said, I suspect that these could drift back down maybe as low as $34 for ConocoPhillips. We'll be back after this break. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. 
Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And we'll get back to trying to go through as many of these stocks that had uh, earnings moves and see if there's anything in these things. Of course, we've got, uh, what, 80 or 100 stocks coming out after the bell, well-known stocks. So it is the stock Super Bowl of earnings after the bell tonight. Uh, many of those, I suspect, are some of the weaker stocks in the market. Uh, I'm expecting uh, probably a little move down as we go into the weekend. Okay, what do we have for Illumina out here? Uh, that is certainly uh, a question in the uh, den uh, where you would short it. Uh, there's a little gap that comes in about 169 uh, that has never been filled, gap past that. Uh, normally, when you see these two kind of things, even if it's a small gap, a pretty good indication of that's where resistance is going to be. You'd want to short this thing at 169. The only problem I have is that you did have some nice volume and a big candle yesterday. So the 169 means that your target's probably uh, the open of uh, yesterday, which is 149. So that's 20 bucks on a $160 stock. Um, it's not enough for me. Maybe it's enough for others, but I, I would probably want to look at a stock that in this one that had, uh, 127, uh, as the target. And I don't get that. The first move down is to 150 and then you're probably going to bounce. And maybe if you hold on long enough, you get back down to the 127. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, speed bumps on the way back down unless they come out with some pretty horrible news. That would be my only comment on that. Range bound. Uh, Cirrus Logic, of course, uh, blow away earnings. Uh, no question on this one that everything is great and wonderful in the world of Cirrus Logic. Uh, everything that you wanted to see uh, after the bell and uh, what Facebook should look like. All that volume, big candle, much higher than lower, not up $1.13. Uh, Deluxe, uh, the Czech company, um, you've had kind of one little hitch underneath this uptrend line that goes all the way back to February 8th. Um, you got to watch this one out here, volume picking up a little bit, no signal yet. EFX, which is Equifax, another one of these uh, that could find uh, 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 and be a problematic, although I suspect it will be a few days from now. It is down below a trend line by the uh, three by three displaced moving average volume is picked up. Um, I would imagine maybe this thing goes up a little higher and maybe closes above and you get a double repo out of it. I would be looking short that one if we get that. J 
GNC, of course, uh, this stock, I talked about it when uh, this thing blew up down to $22.64 one day. They were involved in a whole bunch of, uh, I guess, it was just outright fraud. People putting horrible things in something that was sold in the store. Um, trying to dig through the news events today on the CEO standing or stepping down. Unclear why, if it goes back to that day. But uh, we went right back there today. That had 26 million shares. Today is 8 million shares. Um, I think a lot of people are looking at this as a company event in that, uh, as we said many times before, uh, the uh, little guy with the wings that were wax and flew too close to the sun, uh, maybe uh, just a little bit too much pressure for earnings and uh, cutting uh, things, maybe like... Uh, watching what is put in your store, especially if uh, something in your store is put in someone's body, you probably should be watching it. Uh, but not a lot of comments or why the CEO is stepping out. At least I didn't see it this morning. Uh, so you will want to watch that. You know, any, any, the biggest problem I suspect with GNC is how many of these stores that they have in malls and just how expensive that space is compared to what they can make on it anymore. Uh, when you're competing against uh, people like Amazon, I'll look at the uh, the uh, earnings call after uh, probably this weekend on this and see if there's anything out here. But, uh, you know, you had a, that spike. Everybody ignored it for a while. It came back down there, tested it, rose back up, filled its gap. But, uh, man, you can check off a lot of boxes on this one uh, for uh, potential problems. Um in that space. GoPro, uh, up a little, but again, this is just one of these stocks that everybody is sure is going to go out of business. We call them the walking dead stocks uh, here at the Power Trading Hour, which I know you're going to tell a friend or two or three about, right? And he tells two friends, and she tells two friends, and, and so, so on, on, and, and so, so on, on, and so on. And I'm going to keep playing that until you do. So get ready. You got to get going. Anyway, GoPro up a little bit uh, out here today, but nothing more than a lot of pie in the sky uh, talk. I don't see anything that turns this company around. Uh, the whole drone thing was supposed to turn them around. Then they had the cameras and the 360 degree thing that was supposed to turn them around. And uh, man, I don't know. Uh, talking about one of these stocks that you just don't want to get anything on you. You feel like you're in the front row of a Gallagher consent, so you're just going to get something nasty on you. Uh, mostly from the CEO, probably the best thing could be that he leaves and someone else tries to make something out of this mess. Uh, Groupon, another stock that's higher, again, walking dead stocks out here. Um, they're trying to make and salvage this company, the uh, Groupon. How long did the CEO of this, uh, of this incredible uh, uh, hot mess last? What was it? He last six months. Did he last four months after this IPO? Whatever it was, it was uh, everybody knew he'd been involved in several of these things. Uh, but Groupon, um, you know, nice volume out here. But again, um, how long do you want to hang on to a stock you've been short on? Unfortunately, a lot of people bet on the end of the world. And it seems like uh, for the time it takes uh, and the misery to go through these stocks that will probably eventually uh, end up like Radio Shack. Seems to be a lot of effort uh, out here. Grubhub, uh, fairly decent volume on this one. Um, do we have more than this out here? Um, could it make it back up to 45 bucks? Uh, this is one of the IPOs that failed uh, fairly horribly, but seems to be doing a little bit better. Um, man, the downside is all those people uh, that are still stuck in this above you means that the next five, seven dollars is going to be tough sledding. Uh, Harley, uh, didn't have such good news out here. Everybody bought it from the uh, lower opening today. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, sometimes, uh, in for a penny, in for a pound if you're big in this name. But, uh, uh, I don't know why you'd be buying it. They're telling you that they're going to be moving their guidance down for the foreseeable future. Nothing good in that other than just ignoring the CEO, I guess. Ignoring the CFO. Unclear. Not a lot of volume. My guess is that they're going to, uh, 
that a lot of big funds in this are back to the distribution mode on the, that one. Look for it to crack after they are out or as much as they can get out. Hershey, eh, the buyout thing, who knows about that thing? It's going sideways for a while. Uh, the one you should be paying attention out here to if this market was going to take off was the international paper. It went a whole lot of sideways, uh, just like the market is telling you. And what are we up? Uh, less than two points in the S&P cash. Volume, 2.6 billion shares as we go into the last segment. Of course, uh, Thursday, that means we've got Tom O'Brien for the next two hours. And then my friend, my newly married friend out there, Mr. Andrew Heck in the 5 o'clock hour. We'll be back in a minute. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're uh, in the home stretch today, as we said uh, earlier in the show, Super Bowl of earnings after the four o'clock close today. Uh, if you have a stock, you might have one in uh, the uh, in the in the uh, sites of earnings tonight, or at least a bank shot in it. Uh, look for a lot of volatility tomorrow, based on how well these do. Uh, today, I can't say that I see a huge sign of everything going to the moon. Many people think that the market's going higher, and it might, uh, but I suspect I've got a little 
room to the upside and a whole lot of room to the downside, especially when stocks like L3 Communications come out, go to 154, and come right back into the trading range on what was supposedly good news. Why couldn't it hold its high? It, curious minds want to know. In, oh, well, that was what it was. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, MasterCard up a little bit, not the volume that you would hope for, though, out here today. Uh, it did flip into a gap that had some decent volume, 8.4 million shares. You got, uh, unfortunately, you got about uh, 3.8 million shares now. So uh, <clears throat> watch out. Uh, Molina Healthcare. Uh, this one did very well. Volume, of course, it's coming back into its heavy gap down. That was on the 29th of April with uh, 9.6 million shares. We've got 3.3 uh, shares. And man, if I would have seen this one at 59.66, I would have pulled the trigger on this thing short today. I missed it. I would have gone on, but that is about everything you could look for, especially when you get these double gaps. We were talking about it in the den. I didn't bring it up. But the second line that you see back in here in timing the trade charts, the art of timing the trade charts, is actually a second gap. And you would be surprised how many times that that second gap doesn't tee up exactly where these stocks to go to. And uh, we were talking about Illumina early, and that's exactly what happens. These, these things hit that uh, gap, and that's exactly where you want to short them if volume is, is short. So just a second one out there to take a look at. Uh, Marvel Technology up a little bit, but... Uh, you know, the volume is not all that uh, all that whippy, and of course, kind of came back down. Netgear. Now, this one uh, had some good earnings. In fact, I bought a couple new routers uh, in the last couple of months. I probably should have thought about buying this stock. It was already up kind of high, though. Uh, I dislike the fact that it didn't have the kind of volume I wanted to see as it went through the December seventh high of last year. That was about half a million shares at forty-five seventy-six. Uh, you had some days out there that had some volume, but eh, most of them were not all that exciting, maybe 600,000 shares. Uh, this thing did bounce today. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more volume on it, too. 600,000 shares so far. Nice gap, but uh, you know, I'll we'll have to take a little harder look in that one in the next few days to see what it means. But uh, good business out there in selling uh, wireless routers and uh, uh what are those uh, access points? Uh, another one, Nutrisystems. Uh, this one had, caught, I think, caught a lot of people on the wrong side uh, that were short this thing. Um, and a nice move out here. Would have liked to see a little bit more volume in this one, too. We'll see uh, later. By this time in the day, you should have all the volume you need. Uh, NX uh, P semiconductors with Apple's move. This thing should have been higher, and it is not. So watch out for Apple. O'Reilly Auto Parts up a little, mostly probably on that Ford news out here. I think it had a lot more to do with it. They opened, uh, uh, what, about uh, 278 and uh, went to 292. Uh, any bad news on the uh, new car sales front is a good news for auto parts. In the meantime, hang on for the next three hours here at TFNN. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here bright and shiny. Same bat channel, same bat time. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.
You're watching Tiger TV.